guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Epica Card Empress and today we're going to find out what is your twin flame or soulmate experiencing on their journey right now. Um, a lot of you might be in no contact or you may have a partner that's not very communicative about the spiritual or other experiences they're experiencing um, on their particular journey, whether it's a spiritual journey or a love journey. So we're trying to we're going to find out today exactly what like what kind of synchronicities are they experiencing, what kind of spiritual activations are they having, etc. etc. So I have two three pals here. Um these were actually given to me by um a subscriber, Mark Rotella, on my other channel, Made for Love, which you should guys if you're definitely twin flame or soulmate, definitely check that out. I uh, offer readings there. Um, um so we have and I, I love these so we have pal number one um this lady blue with the big earrings big blue earrings we have pal number two um the lady in the blue and white with the headpiece and then we have the swanky um lady over here let me give you a close-up because maybe there's something about there's something about the person that's going to draw your attention so this is pal number one We have here pal number two. And we have here pal number three. Let me make sure it's, yeah. All right, so you can pause the video now. <clears throat> We're really tune in. Um, whatever it is, it might be the colors, um, what the person is wearing, but there's something that's gonna um, drag you to the particular pile, okay? so. I'm going to be right back and we're going to pile one. Hey guys, if you chose pile one, this is your reading. So you chose this lady here with the headpiece, right? And the um, interconnecting earrings. So <clears throat> I don't know about something about this lady um, makes me think of um, the high priestess. Um, you know, she's the only one, I think out of all of them, where you see her lips and her lips are closed and the high priestess um she's always silent so you might be dealing with a, a can um a pisces um you might be dealing with a scorpio i also read high priestess um as virgo because virgo has access to all realms because of um the mythology behind it is persephone who spends um time in heaven and then time in hell so access to all realms and on on the earth right and i also read as taurus because taurus can all Taurus opposite polarity um, of um, Scorpio is also very silent and they have that silent power, right? So, and Virgo is the opposite polarity of Pisces, right? So, so those two and their opposite polarities, this is the high priestess. All right, so I see that you guys may have had many lives intertwined um, to each other, okay? This person may very well be in a karmic cycle right now. This could definitely be a twin flame connection. Um, because we have this eternal love sign, right? Um, you could also be dealing with a Leo because this is a card number eight, isn't it? Which is the strength card. Okay, I see that your person might be downloading a lot of truth right about now. Um, we have blue and this is all about, you know, throat chakra activation. So it's about downloading truth and it's about, you know, really showing the world the real you, being authentic, having that integrity and being um, strong enough um, to speak your truth. I'm also getting this person's kind of looking back on their past, especially their childhood. She's looking this way, right? To the past. Um, I'm really evaluating what happened there and really seeing the truth of what it really was and not the truth processed through um, the eyes of a child or processed through um, wounding and pain. So that's what I'm getting. And from this and this person is getting really grounded um, by this particular experience. Okay. All right. Also, again, this person might be in Dark Knight of the Soul because um, this is the darker of all the ladies. Okay, so let, let's go into um, this deck. This is my deck, actually, that I created. It calls twi it's called Twin Ex Twin Experience. Twin Experience. And, you know, it lets us see what kind of sinks um, and activations and that kind of thing that your person might be going through. Okay, so we're just going to um, get about four cards. We'll, do, we'll clap, do some clarifications as well, and then I'll get a, a message from your person's higher self, okay? All right. So, power one. What's power one's person 
experiencing on their soulmate twin flame journey right now. I always like to look underneath the deck. And we have prophecy. I mean, it's in blue again, right? So this person might um, have received either the gift of prophesying or there is some sort of prophecy. Maybe something that even you told them um, that's coming to pass right now. All right, so let's get four cards. So we have Aries here. So you might be dealing with an Aries. We have third eye chakra. I told you. I told you I got high priestess vibes. We have light code activation. Knew it. I knew it. Anytime I see anybody um, I'm in the spirit realm having light code activations, um, I usually see them glow in this color. With a crystal in the particular cha um, chakra. right? But they usually glow in this particular shade of blue. That kind of iridescent light blue. That's how I see them. And then we have Aquarius. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to read these just as they are. And then we'll do some clarification to get more information. Okay. So I see we have Aries. So you can actually be dealing with an Aries. Or this could be um, Spirit letting you know that this person is your emperor. Or they're in emperor vibes. Meaning that they're taking charge of their life. Because Aries is powerful energy. Right. Um, this is the go-getter. This is a CEO, business person, hard work. But Aries is also the destroyer, the destroyer of patterns. Um, they and Scorpio have that same, let us say, gift, right? Um, to destroy things because things do need to be destroyed from time to time, like toxic patterns, toxic situations. Um, Things need to be destroyed so that they can be rebuilt again. And Aries and Scorpio, when you attract Aries and Scorpio into your life, you re you are rarely calling for change, right? Um, Scorpios are a little more sophisticated with it, but trust me, Scorpios by force. But Aries is kind of like the bull in the china shop and they come and they shake things up, right? So they shake things up in your life and really show you um, what needs to be changed, right? So this person, this is the, the energy that they're embodying. They're taking charge of their life and they are destroying the things um, that need to be changed. And they're doing that because they're being guided by spirit right now. They're having this third eye activation and their intuition is on point. Um, they might be communicating with their spirit guides. They might be getting um, guidance from spirit. And spirit is telling them the things that they need to do um, in order to um, ascend and be the highest version of themselves, right? So they're having this third eye chakra activation, which goes really nicely with what we were saying about that high priestess, because that, that is a high priestess, okay? And then we have the light code activation, and I guess that's why I was telling you about how I see people in the spirit realm, okay? Um, that's exactly, they're always glowing like that, and then um, in a particular chakra that they're getting that activation, I see a crystal, okay? So this person getting a lot of downloads from spirit, okay? So that's probably what's happening right now. Getting a lot of downloads from spirit, um, they're really open up. They're really trusting their intuition right now. And they're getting some kind of messages about a kind of unity consciousness. Because um, Aquarius is all about the collective. Okay? So they're getting information about this collective. Um, Twin Flame Soulmate um, Collective. And um, they're getting um, information about their life purpose. What they're meant to um, give to this world. And what their gifts are. Um... Um, there could be something very significant happening um, to this person in February um, or let's okay let's say well January February now or um, let's say end of March um, beginning of April right there's something very powerful that might be happening to this person and uh, we, we do have um, those full moons coming up and all of that okay so I think this person's really figuring out what's their purpose again in that download what else is aquarius known for um aquarius is the the king of swords okay so that so it could be that this person might be planning to communicate to you because aquarius is um the diplomat right a little a slightly disconnected from hard space they're, they're, they're dealing with the facts so it looks like this person's planning to come in and speak some cold hard truth um that's the action that they want to take i'm just going to pull a couple cards in these 
just to see if there's um, additional information for us and then I'll get a message from this person's higher self, okay? So there's something about this person's mission that they're downloading right now. All right, so they're taking action to bring justice back to a situation. I don't know if they did, you, did something wrong to you, um, but it looks like they're coming back with their sword of truth um, to make things right. Spirit, tell us about this third eye chakra activation here. Yeah, there's something about their life purpose um, that they're downloading, but they're also working hard on themselves. They're being guided by spirit as to those areas that need healing. And they're also stepping into their spiritual power, um, unveiling their spiritual gifts. And that's bringing a lot of stability and abundance um, into this person's life. Okay. Let's see this light code activation. It's, it's all about the uh, receiving spiritual gifts. We have this king of fire. Okay. They're receiving the spiritual gift. They're, they're getting direction as to what is their life purpose. I think this person had a lot of regrets about the past um, that kept them very stuck. But this, this light code activation is moving them um, to action. Okay, they might have previously been in hermit mode and that's when that activation started. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo and here's the, the emperor comes out. The emperor comes out and I'm going to read it sideways. So this person is becoming, they are becoming the emperor. Okay, moving out of that hermit mode and becoming the emperor. So definitely Aries, that's why we see um, Aries coming in here. Let's get one more card. So this person stepping into their full power, but I'm getting spiritual power. I think they, they know that they are somebody's emperor. So divine masculine energy coming out here. But this person also has a lot of neurotic thoughts. Um, this person might, ah, this person might be in dark night because these neurotic thoughts coupled with the hermit. So you're kind of depressed and then you get an insight. <laughs> That's dark night. So this person is in dark night right now. And I told you this person was in dark night. I told you that. All right, let's see. What's the Aquarius energy? What's that about? They're ready to speak. So if you are not in no communication with this person, hey, they are coming in with some truth to you. This high priestess um, is getting ready to speak. Okay? And I saw that king of swords. Look. They're coming to speak about some kind of um, ending, horrible ending between you guys. They're taking action. This is what spirit um, is leading them to do. Um, they're going to be very guarded. They're going to be very defensive. Um, the truth might come out a bit harshly, but they just want to get it over it. And they're only going to be defensive and harsh because they're afraid of your words. They're afraid of your rejection. Okay? But they're coming. This, this high priestess um, is getting ready to speak here. So let's get some messages from this person's higher self. What do they want you to know? And we will cut off them. Messages from this person's higher self. During your reading, if you see any um, ads that appear during the reading, it would be lovely um, if you guys would click on those because um, that's revenue for the channel. It's a good energy exchange, okay? And of course, like and definitely subscribe. So I think we get a confirmation here. And I said it before, this person might definitely be a twin. We have this in number 11 card, 47 reduced to 11. And they want to know um, that they are moving, they are on a journey to move from the darkness um, to the light and that you are part of that journey. Um, you, sh you shone the light on their darkness and they're moving out of this darkness and seeing the divinity within themselves. And they know that this journey is worth it and you are part of it. And then we have about four cards. They want you to know that they're the magician. They're stepping into their spiritual power and they're about to use all the tools in their toolbox um, to manifest a new beginning for themselves and a new beginning for you guys. So we have 11, we have 1, 1, 1, 1. So new beginnings all around. And I think this person may be with a karmic partner and they want you to know that even though they're with them, they're thinking about you. In fact, they may be getting visitations from you in the night, which kind of freak them out at first. But now that they're understanding more about this connection, they kind of look forward to it. <laughs> yeah, again, definitely whilst they're sleeping, you're visiting them because this other person is sleeping as well. Okay. 
um, I think with this person, I think they might have been thinking too much about the situation and they might have thought that you guys had um, different beliefs. Now, it says spiritual beliefs here, but it could be any kind of beliefs. Um, you guys could have just been different, uh, maybe different races, different religions, different spiritual beliefs, different ideologies, different political affiliations, whatever it was. I think your person saw it as a barrier first, but now they're recognizing because 58 resist 13, they're changing, transforming their opinion and recognizing that they can actually coexist. It wasn't a big barrier in the first place. They just didn't have the right perspective or maybe both of you guys didn't have the right perspective okay so power one that was your reading i hope that you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel because i'll be putting out more readings like this um in the future take care bye hey pal two if you chose the blue and white empress um this is your reading and i say empress deliberately because this is the one that's given me the most empress vibes right so you could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with a Libra, but it is someone who's in divine feminine energy right now. So what do we mean by that? It means that this person is really opening up to spirit, okay? And they're downloading a lot of truth, right? Um, and that's just truth that they're downloading is, is returning them to the purest essence of themselves. I know that because of the blue and of course the white, okay? Ooh, throat chakra activation. And solar plexus activation here. This person wants to come in and speak some truth. I think this person has been doing some reconciling of karma from past life because the white always reminds me of soul star chakra, and that's the one that's um, connected to um, the Akashic Library, the Akashic field. So I think this person's doing a lot of karma releasing right now, and as they release that karma, um, they're really downloading a lot of truth about why they are the way they are. So I really think this person might have a karmic partner, or might be in a karmic situation, but they're 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 reconciling a lot of karma right now. Really think this one could be twin flame because it looks like a flame here, doesn't it? It looks like a flame here. Um. Getting a lot of downloads, a lot of truth. This person um, definitely throat chakra activations and soul star chakra um, activations. I see this person covering their head. So um, I think this person might be slightly resistant to what's happening. <laughs> I think they're trying in a way to block out spirit because a lot of shit is happening to this person. So they might be in slight resistance. But I'm also getting a lot of truth and a lot of wisdom um, that they're getting from this um, um, this whole experience. I'm getting um, healer, someone who has healing vibes because of these bands around the arms and hands. So this person could be an, a healer. I think maybe a lot of people find this person attractive. I'm not seeing the curve. But, you know, I think that's downloading a lot of truth. And that truth is really returning them to the purest essence of self and helping them release the ego. But they're not going um, without a fight. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> they're not going without a fight. All right. So let's get four cards from this deck. This is my deck called um, Twin Experience. And it allows you to see what your counterpart is experiencing um, on their journey right now. Because very often times um, we're not in communication. Or if we are, um, they're kind of reluctant to talk about the things that are happening to them and I just had a hiccup <laughs> and that happened okay so maybe this connection had a lot of hiccups all right so the card on the bottom which I always like you see I told you clairvoyance they're getting these downloads hard and fast Okay, but it is repure. It's it is bringing them back to the pure essence of who they are, which is this very spiritual being. Okay, um, they have access um, to um, other realms quite easily. This person has a natural channel. I think they're just getting free. The spiritual gifts they're unfolding. The spiritual gifts are unfolding right now. This person had an ego death. I told you. They're trying to resist this, but. It's coming hard and fast. 
And I think I, I really do think this particular person is getting freaked out. Uh, and it's telling them it's a kind of resistance, but they're seeing too many secret synchronicities. Particularly, it seems with this person, street signs. I'm getting stop signs because um, the music just stopped. As I said, it's the synchronicities. The music stops. So they might be hearing, ah, Spirit is also saying that they're also getting messages and songs as well. So music might be very important to this particular person. <clears throat> and Spirit is saying divine timing is at work, right? So this person here, definitely on the divine guidance at this point in time and divine order. Everything's happening in the divine order. All right, so let's pull. Okay, so definitely we have in spiritual gifts, but def there's definitely this. Um, spiritual gifts in terms of the throat chakra, right? This person, whatever is a spiritual gift, there's, there's, there's some kind of verbal component to it, whether it's um, making songs that are related to spirit or um, it's, it's, there's a communication component um, to their mission in life. They're to express these downloads. They're getting loads of downloads and they're to express these downloads, whether it's by blogging, um, whether it's by preaching, but there's something they have to verbalize, okay? I'm also getting this person might have been wearing a mask before. They didn't want to show people who they, th who they really were inside, but now they have no choice. It's coming hard and fast. Um, this person has had an ego death, so they're already making their way out of dark night of the soul, and things are becoming a lot clearer for this person. I think they're getting a lot of synchronicities, particularly um, street signs, um, that remind them of you, remind them of um, the connection whenever they try to run. And then there's divine timing happening here. All right. So let's clarify some of these cards and see if there are additional messages. Um, if there aren't additional messages, um, what we're going to do, we're going to get um, some messages from this person's higher self. But these were we, these were quite plain. All right. It's clear cut. And I think your person's getting a lot of clarity. Okay. Which is also represented in the white as well. A lot of clarity here. All right. So I told you it has something to do with communication. This spiritual gift that they have is communication. Now it could be um, you guys might be have a, a strong telepathic communication going on. But I'm getting whatever it is that they're experiencing, they, they're supposed to verbalize it. Okay. Why am I making this sign? What is this? I love you. I don't know. Why am I making that sign though? <laughs> Guys, whoever has, uh, who does um, sign language, what, what, is that, what does that mean? You tell me. Don't know why I'm making that sign. Anyway, yeah. So they, they're meant to verbalize it, okay? Spirit saying there's rapid, this person is um, integrating their spiritual gifts um, at a rapid pace. Things are going really rapidly for this person. And I think that's what's scaring them too. But Spirit is also guiding this person to come and communicate with you, to travel towards you. Um, but they have a lot of insecurities. Um, there's a codependency um, template that's still running in your person. They might have a karmic partner. Yes, but this is coming to an end. As they grow more in their spirituality, as they learn to love themselves, this there's a karmic cycle here. Um, and it's coming to an end. Your person's closing off a big cycle in their life. Talk to us about the ego death. So this person might have been bloody hell. In pride and ego. Yeah, I told you they went through Dark Knight of the Soul. Look at the Nine of Swords here. In pride and ego, overthinking this whole connection. Trying to be logical, right? Trying to be logical, but then the wheel has turned in their favor. They're closing off cycles. Um, I think they're releasing um, that kind of, a kind of immature energy. And any kind of competition that might have been in your relationship, any kind of conflict, any kind of toxic situation in their lives, they're releasing that shit because they were getting stressed out with this whole thing. Right, so this ego death has brought major changes to your person's life, and um, they're ending big cycles right now. Tell us about the street signs. Let's see, death, death. They're getting a lot of signs that are really pushing their transformation here. Okay, a justice. Look at these two major arcana here. So this person's getting synchronicities that are really pushing them towards transformation and really pushing them to um, transmute a lot of karma. A lot of karma. And that's I think that's why we saw all that white. A lot of karma from past lives. 
yeah healing karma resolved so this person that we're tapping into um i think if their karmic debt has not been settled it is going to very soon be settled we have the star and we have justice okay so spirit is also giving them um signs that they need to go back and transform your connection the both of you guys connection and also um to balance things out by speaking the truth and really heal the situation between you guys they're getting signs from spirit what's this divine timing yeah so this person um divine timing is at play because it, it's allowing for this person's um spiritual gifts to fully integrate this person's not talking right now uh, they're de i'm really getting that they're dealing with a karmic okay somebody that they don't have any love for and that's why they're not communicating just yet there there's a karmic situation here So for this part, I'm definitely feeling a karmic situation. And your person's changing, and they, they might have been a player before, um, but that's only because they didn't love themselves. So all this is changing. So this person's releasing um, this codependent and toxic relationship. Yeah, they're, they're, they're healing. They don't feel like they can leave right now. They might be a provider. They might be a father figure. But, but they're healing. And I think it's because... Um, they're in a toxic situation where they might be a provider. That's why they might be resisting this transformation. That's why divine timing is at play. But, you know, spirit is pushing this person um, really hard. But their insecurities um, and their abandonment wounds keep getting in the way. And that's why they stay um, with this third party. But spirit is going to bring the tower. The tower is coming. And that's going to give your person a different perspective. If that tower hasn't happened already. Okay. Alrighty, so let's get some messages from this person's higher self because I think this person <laughs> they are re I told you they were trying to resist it. I told you they were trying to resist it, but spirit is bringing the tunnel for this person's ass. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry. I don't know what this person is thinking. Are you really going to battle spirit? Come on, <laughs> come on. But I'm getting this is how this person sees you too, huh? as the divine feminine, as an empress. And they don't feel worthy. That's why we got that insecurities card. So this person, they're, they're on their inner journey. Okay, they are on that voyage. Um, we might be dealing with a Virgo. Um, they've gone deep within so that they can really learn to love themselves. Um, but they want you to know that the distance between um, you guys is really killing them and it's taking them great strength. Card number 62, um, reduced to 8. For them to stay away from you right they want you to know that they know that you guys are twins okay they know that this is a soul connection high level soul me connection they know that's an eternal love they know they they know they want you to know that they know okay and they're getting ready um to take a leap of faith okay they're back to zero point returning to that purity i pointed out before so pound number two that was your reading um if you enjoyed this reading please subscribe that would be really nice um and tell me about I can't remember what this what it says. I don't know. I think it's a sign. I'm not sure. Anyway, you guys will tell me in the comments. Okay, guys, take care. Bye. Hey pal three, this is your reading. And we're gonna find out what is your person experiencing on their twin flame soulmate journey right now. Because a lot of times you might be in um no communication, or if there is communication, your person's kind of hesitant to tell you exactly what they're going through. So we're gonna have a look at that. So if you if you chose this woman here, um, this is your reading. Alright, so what am I getting? Um getting fire sign vibes. First of all, fire sign. Um, go get her very energetic swanky. I mean look at her right so getting definitely Sagittarian vibes That's the first one I'm getting then Aries um, possibly a Leo because of the stature Definitely, this is someone who likes attention. I am getting that um, but this person Really very powerful especially in the material world because uh, we have the red and red is root chakra. Okay, so this person very powerful um Emperor vibes really taking charge of their surroundings have a lot they have a lot of passion so maybe even Scorpio too a lot of passion as well very intense personality I mean you're not going to you can't ignore this person when they walk in a room okay they're attention getting 
Um, this person's nose is longer than the other people's. Um, and it's the only nose that we're seeing. Is it the only nose that we're seeing? No, but it is the only nose that's that long. So this person might have been a pathological liar. <laughs> I'm not crapping on your person. I'm just saying, okay? I'm not crapping on your person, right? Um, but they they are getting a lot of um, downloads right now. I'm really noticing the headpiece, kind of like an antenna pointing up to the heavens. Um, that's really making them change. Maybe not as quickly as they should, because they're kind of defiant because they're so connected to the material world. But there, there's, there's a lot of change that are happening to this person. And I also think this person's in love um, with all this red hair. If I get anything else during the reading, I'll tell you. All right, so let's find out. I'm going to go into my deck, um, Twin Spirits, and let's see what they're um, experiencing on their twin flame soulmate journey right now. forgiveness okay Ooh. there might be a lot of anger and animosity between you guys with this red okay I don't know what this person did but it might have really broke your heart okay um, you might be dealing with a Virgo but this person solar plexus chakra and I noticed you know the I, I was wondering they kept pointing my attention to that but I was wondering what was the message with her exposed belly <clears throat> but now I know um, solar plexus chakra activation this person's working on their self-confidence okay all right so what are they experiencing on this journey we're gonna get four cards okay so they're definitely a healer and that's not surprising with these bands of power um, on the arms here right so they're a healer we have astral projection so a lot of spiritual gifts unfolding for this people it's it this person and then we have Pisces energy the high priestess so again um, you know this person a lot powerful gifts like um, unfolding powerful gifts but they're not saying much about it they're not saying much about it you know you know high priestess she's mute she's mute there could be something that might be might happen during Pisces season or this person might be embodying the energy of Pisces which is um very emotional deeply psychic you might be a Pisces, I don't know. You will tell me. And then we have feeling your touch. So listen, a lot of psychic experiences that's freaking this person that to F out. Okay? Um, I also getting that they're they're really looking back on their past, back on their roots, their foundation, um, their family. And they're they're really seeing where telling themselves negative or false stories that they carried um, throughout their life that made them act insecure okay because when when we're when we're children and things happen to us we view it through all a lens and it's not a lens of un, of understanding it's a lens of okay things are going wrong it must be because of me we project everything that's going wrong onto ourselves when we are children right we are always the issue and i think this person's kind of like reprogramming themselves telling themselves a different story um, now, all right, so let's pull some cards on these and let's see if we get further messages. All right, so spirit, so okay, so with this card, not only am I getting that this person's tapping into their spiritual gifts, which might be like Reiki or hands on healing or something like that, but this person's also healing their heart by looking back on the past, okay? So they're doing a lot of healing, a lot of self reflection, right? But it's because their foundation was really crazy. And that's why they, they bury themselves so much in the material world. Um, their foundation was rocky. And they're, they're operating in lack consciousness. You see, it's feel, healing family issues. Okay, we have this ten of pentacles. That's why they're so concerned about material things. Their family was dysfunctional. Their family was dysfunctional. They may even have a family dynamic now that's dysfunctional that they feel that they cannot walk away from. But that's because they're operating out of their wounding. Um, they might be in a karmic relationship, right? We have the Six of Pentacles here, right? 
but as they heal now they really want to get out because they're recognizing just how toxic their dynamic is really getting the message that this person is about to close a cycle and the reason why i say that and i meant to say it first is your reading started at 28 28 so that's 10 10 so that's closure of cycles okay and the beginning of new things but this person right now they're feeling trapped in some kind of family dynamic that they're trying to heal um they're trying to manifest a new beginning for themselves by stepping into their spiritual power and really taking charge and um, because they they feel like there's some kind of eternal love um that's waiting for them what's this astral projection you see how that car projected <laughs> Wow. They're visiting you at night. Remember I said this is the emperor? And the empress came out. They're visiting you at night. Yeah. They're visiting you at night. They're, they're visiting you at night. They're really in divine feminine energy. Very receptive to spirit. And the person that they're visiting at night is you. Right? But this person, they're being very defensive and closed off. They're not telling anybody about this because they're afraid that people are going to think that they're crazy. And that's why they're not making that progress far because they're not really accepting fully what's happening to them. There's kind of resistance, so they're not talking about it. They're not talking about it at all. At all. This freaks them out. Let's see Pisces. Right? So they're really emotional right now because they are really dealing with a lot of wounding, especially from childhood, right? Or the root. Ah, the root. They're getting to the root of their insecurities. That's why I talked about root chakra. They're getting to the root of their insecurities and it's making them really emotional right now, right? They recognize that their broken heart, their heart was first broken in childhood, in that family dynamic. That's where the distrust that people came from and it's making them really emotional. That's where they, their codependency issues um, originated. So they, <laughs> I told you, really emotional. That's my water app, by the way. Right, but every time it, it, it sounds, it tells me a different thing. So that just told me that this person is very emotional and they're trying to flush the past down the toilet. Anyway, so they're, this is, they're recognizing that this is the root of their codependency, right? So this person going through a lot of heavy emotional issues right now, especially from their childhood, all right? Feeling your touch. So I, this particular group, um, major psychic connection here, okay? And, 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 you know, they, they really are being guided by spirit to come back and apologize, um, to come back and give some kind of small offer here that will soon turn into a big offer. For some of you guys, you might be dealing with a Virgo here. And then Virgo comes out again. And Virgo is the opposite polarity of Pisces. So maybe you guys are opposites, your opposite polar opposites, right? But you know that's the yin yang. Um, this person, a lot of shame and regret. I think you guys might have had some kind of big fall out, or they may have betrayed you. But now they're really feeling um, you reaching out to them at night. Okay, they have a deep psychic connection with you, deep psychic connection, and that's freaking them out. So it's making them even more closed off than before, right? But they're waiting. They're waiting to step into their power and take action because um, they recognize that, listen, I have to take charge of this whole situation. This person is my one and I have to go and make some kind of solid offer. Um, but they're, they're waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting on something. I'm, I'm really getting with a karmic connection to unfold. All right. So let's get some messages from your person. What do they want you to know right now? And look, Pisces comes out again. 12 different perspective um, they weren't ready for what you had to offer yeah you guys just couldn't seem to come together yeah, this person has a lot of secrets that they know they have to come back and tell you all right so let's go we have yes so this person is saying yes to transformation, yes to stepping into their, their strength. We have 35. We just do eight. They're saying yes to this connection, right? But they know that they really have to step up. So that's fire energy there with that Leo. All right? They want you to know that the third party knows about you. So I don't know if they, they told the third party, 
but the third party knows and this card 48 reduces to 12 which is the pisces hangman and then 12 reduces to three which is the third party and they're going through dark night and that and you know dark night is a major challenge they're going through dark night right now because they're looking back on the past they're looking back on the past and they're trying to see everything clearly now right but they are working themselves towards union so this could definitely be some kind of twin flame higher level soulmate connection they're working towards union and they want you to know that they're ma trying to manifest a new beginning um for you guys okay so pile three that was a reading i hope that's helped you take care bye